Greetings YouTube viewers and welcome to Port Merion on the coast of Wales. It's April 2012, a beautifully sunny afternoon and as I said we're here in Port Merion which is a uh, park, village park owned by a charity um, which is very unusual because um, it was built and designed by a man called Clough Williams Ellis, started in 1925 and then the idea, as I understand it, was to create a village from scratch in a kind of beautiful aesthetic style. We're just going to go under this rather lovely Moroccan arch. Unfortunately, when I decided to video this, um, a tremendous number of incredibly unattractive people started coming into the video. And also this building contractor transit van parked right in the middle of the shot. But then that's what tends to happen with my videos. Um, one of the notable things about Port Marion is not only the architecture is uh, very attractive but the buildings are all washed in these Italianate uh, colours, yellows and blues and minty greens, they're these lovely flower beds and things and up here you'll see, if I can avoid this van, you'll see we've caught it on a lovely sunny day with all these domes, balconies and balustrades. Um, it has a very distinctive style, a whole load of different types of architecture all brought together at once. I'm just going to walk down into the sunken garden part of it. There's a Buddha in here for some reason that I don't quite understand. It was brought, brought from somewhere just through there, in there, you can just see him, a golden Buddha. And then if you look up here, you can see that there are all these houses in uh, green, mint, yellow, ochre, I believe that's called. And then I'm just going to go down here into these sunken gardens, preferably without tripping over on the steps. Coming down these cobbled steps, it opens out into this delightful garden um, with fountains and things. And lots of very nicely planted flower beds. I understand that this uh, colonnade building was brought brick by brick from Bath or something and reconstructed in the style it was built in and then I'm coming down here into the sunken gardens where loads of people tend to have their photographs taken and you get fine views all around of Port Mary and as I said this man had this vision Clough William Zellis had this vision in the 1920s to design the perfect village um, really from a blank canvas, I believe, and uh, has obviously achieved it with this very unusual, eclectic mix of different architectural styles. And, uh, and we've caught it on just the most lovely day. Yesterday there were blizzards and we were driving through Snowdonia with virtually nil visibility through blizzards. And today we're in Port Merion, uh, enjoying it really at its best, captured in the sunshine. So that's it for the moment. I'll just wrap up Port Marion, Wales, April 2012.